welcome you to come along with us for a drive to the famous temple of Somnath at Viraval, Gujarat. I hope it will provide you a brief idea about the highways, food and the scenic beauty around it. It was a bright morning at Dholka, Gujarat. We were ready to start a 400 km drive down south. We stopped for a spot of simple Gujarati breakfast, potato stuffed rounded fries, couple of salted boiled chilies and the most delicious curry, a mix of yogurt, ginger, basin or chickpea flour, turmeric, curry leaves and ghee, clarified butter. After breakfast, we hit the brilliant highways, National Highway 47 and then connected to National Highway 151 all the way to Viraval Shumna. As hungry fillers, we took a short break and had one of the most popular highway foods, changri or leafy green gram or chana as locally called. Simple, sweet and delicious. Very soon, a section of Gujarat State Highway came up, busy with small trucks and vehicles to carry village produce. The disordered traffic gradually thinned out. On our way, two objects drew our attention. Tall windmills sweeping the air with their huge blades and the second was acres of cotton plant growth. Gujarat has black cotton soil which is formed out of trapped lava in these areas, ideal for cotton cultivation. Around 2 in the afternoon, we were hungry again and parked to taste a typical lunch from Gujarat. It contained Ringana Methi Nushak, eggplant cooked with fenugreek leaves, Gujarati Khatti Meethi Dal, sweet and sour lentils, Undiu mixed vegetable prepared with spinach paste, Alu Rasila, potato and tomato thin curry, steamed rice, colorful popper or crisp wheat biscuits and green salad. The dish was good and had a sweet taste. About 5 kilometers before Shomnath, we came across this decorated gate that adorned the entrance. The temple parking was quite big and having parked the car, we made our way towards the temple complex about a kilometer away. The main Shomnath Chowk or circle at Viraval has a circular park with a figure riding a horse. You are seeing the statue of Veer Hamir Singh Gohil who defended the Shomnath temple and was killed by Zafar Khan, the Subha of Gujarat, appointed by Muhammad Tughlaq II in 1401 AD. Driving 8 hours non-stop from Dholka, a distance of 380 kilometers, we finally reached the famous temple of Shomnath in Gujarat to see the setting sun and its rays reflecting off Shomnath temple and the Arabian Sea. A lovely promenade lines up on the western fringe of the temple that touches the Arabian Sea. Man-made sea barriers are strewn on the beaches to keep the sea away. We saw the light orange glow touching the grey waves of the sea. As we pan to our right, we can see the Shomnath temple in its full glory. The setting sun had painted the temple a golden yellow. You can see the soft, slowly moving waves of the Arabian Sea, gently lapping the boulders on the beach. The sun has just dipped on the western horizon. As far as our eyes could see, the grey western sky, tinted with the dying embers of the sun rays, had vanished into the sea. The beauty and the fierceness of the waves were trying to tell each visitor the violent story of this historical temple. As we were looking at the sun, we heard a mantra or chant from the temple which was echoing across the sea. Trayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pusti vardhanam urvarukam eva bandanat mrityor muksha mamritat. This means we show our adoration for the three eyed Lord Shiva who is sweet-scented and who nourishes and cherishes all beings. 
Just like the ripened cucumber with gardener's help, it is freed from its bondage from the creeper. May he liberate us from death for the sake of immortality. Shomnath glitters like a temple of gold in the evening as darkness falls. The surrounding lights on the promenade adds to the atmosphere. The soothing religious music and the sounds of waves urge you to meditate. The Shomnath temple is a product of Maru Gurjara architecture, popularly known as Chalakya or Solanki style. The structure of the temple is based on Kailash Mahameru Prasad form and reflects the brilliant engineering of the Sompura Salats, one of Gujarat's famous masons. I hope you have a brief idea now about the Shomnath Temple Complex. Best time to visit is late December or early January as the weather is quite hot and humid. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.